This last section is a little bit tri trickier. Here we'll be factoring third degree polynomials into first and second degree polynomial factors. The first two rules here say that if I have the sum of two perfect cubes or the difference of two perfect cubes, I can factor these two third degree binomials into this. And this last one says that if I have the sum of three perfect cubes minus three times the cube root of those three per perfect cubes, I can use this formula or this general equation to factor it. But since it's a lot easier to show you how these work through examples, I'm going to work through exam some examples. My first example, I have the difference of two perfect cubes. When I take the cube root of x to the third, I just get x. And when I take the cube root of 27, I get 3. Now I plug in my values into this equation, where my first set of parentheses, I just subtract my two cube root values. And then I multiply that times the square root, the square, not the square root, of the first plus my first times my last plus the square root of my last. This second example follows this third rule. First I want to see that my first three terms are perfect cubes and they are. When I take the uh, cube root of 8x to the third I get 2x. The cube root of 64y cubed is 4y and z cubed is just z. Now I have to see that this last term is negative 3 times these 3. Let's see if that works out. So negative 3 times 2x times 4y times z. Negative 3 times 2x, negative 6x. Negative 6x times 4y, negative 24xy times z, negative 24xyz. It works, so I can use this formula. My first set of parentheses is the cube root of my first plus my second plus my third term times the square of this plus the square of this plus the square of this. Minus each of these times each other. So I'm going to do my first times my second, my second times my third, and my first times my third. So this becomes 8xy. This becomes 4yz. And this becomes 2 xz. And that's my answer. Let's try a few more examples. Here I have the sum of two cubes. So I'm going to take the cube root of the first and the cube root 
of the last and plug those values into the formula. Since it's a sum, my first set of parentheses is going to be a sum. And I just plug in my two cube roots. I take the square of my first, and this time my middle term is negative, and I multiply my first and my last to get 4xy plus square my last, 16y squared. Here, in my second example, I have the difference of two cubes. Cube root of my first term is 2x. Cube root of my second term, 5y. It's subtraction, so my first set of parentheses is going to have subtraction in it. And I get 2x minus 5y times the quantity, square my first, 4x squared, plus first times last, 10xy, plus square my last, 25y squared. And even more examples. Difference of two cubes. Cube root of my first is 3x. Cube root of my last is 4y. It's a difference, so my first set of parentheses is going to be a difference. 3x minus 4y. My second set of parentheses, I square my first, 9x squared, plus the product of the two, 12xy, plus square of my last, 16y squared. In my second example, notice my first term is a binomial, but that's okay. I still use the same uh, method. Cube root of this is just going to be x plus 2, and the cube root of 1 is 1. It's a sum, so my first set of parentheses is going to be a sum. I'm going write, to write it down here. My first term is just going to be x plus 2 plus the cube root of my last term, which is just 1. My second set of parentheses, I'm going to square this. That means I'm going to have to either use FOIL method or the shortcut that I learned previously, which I'm going to do. But notice I have to keep it within parentheses. I can't just square each term. Minus x plus 2 times 1, which is just x plus 2 and again and that way I'll remember to distribute my negative sign plus the square of the last which is just 1. Now I have to combine like terms here and expand this out and distribute my negative sign. In my first set of parentheses I'm going to get x plus 3. In my second set of parentheses my middle is my first times my last times 2, which is just going to be 4x, and square my last, 4. I'm going to distribute that negative sign so that I have negative x minus 2 for my middle term, and plus 1 for my last. Let me rewrite my first set of parentheses. x squared, 4x, and a negative x make positive 3x, and positive 4 negative 2, positive 1. 4 minus 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3.